What's up, review and brewaholics? I'm Spud Gun. This is Pip and K and Pip and K. Today we feel like a reviewing and brewing on Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde. Ow! Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's do it. Hormones. Female hormones. Nature's elixir. Her name is Hyde. M Mrs. Hyde. You mean you changed its sex? This is a movie about a doctor. And he has nice hair. And he's gonna cure all the diseases. Like typhus. Like syphilis. Like gonorrhea. And he also doesn't have enough time to do it. Like his friend says. So, he decides... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's too much. All right, He's so this like, look away. No, no, no. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Look away. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't okay. listen. Close right, okay. your ears. Close your ears. This movie is about a doctor, and he is a man, and he is very clean, and and it has long hair, and he. <laughs> He's <laughs> 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 very clean. <laughs> and he has long hair. <laughs> I'm dying over here. Okay. Okay, this movie's about a doctor. He's also a man. And he's going to cure every disease there is, like typhus, like pneumonia, like uh, the clap. But his, his professor friend says, no, you can't do that. You won't have enough time. You're going to die. So he says, no, I am going to make a potion to extend my life so I can be the next Louis Pasteur and cure all the diseases. So then he does it. So he makes something to extend his life. But the trick is he had to grow boobs to do it. So the female fly that he ate <laughs> turned him into a lady with knockers. And then he has to kill people to keep being a lady. That's pretty much the whole movie. And, yeah. he's, and he's got nice tits. Nice tits. And that's the end. <laughs> was there any real substance to this film? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was it's definitely some substance. <laughs> this is a classic meaning. for the ages. It's a, a, whole, a hidden gem. So this yeah. is the first time you're on our show. Uh -huh. So I feel like we should probably give you the first real say. What were your initial thoughts of the film? What you liked? What, what didn't you like? I thought that this was the greatest movie of all time. And why? For the uh, love of everything holy, why? <laughs> um, I think that's because uh, it had a certain, you know, je ne sais quoi. Just his hair was so pretty. There were all the nice mirrors. There were some boobs in there. Action. Action cliffhangers. And it's just, that's what a movie needs. People, you know... They have all these infinity stones. They've got superheroes. What do they need? They, that's all. You just need a good cliffhanger. Yeah. Cliffhanger. You need some boobs. <laughs> that's what you need. All right. Them. All right. I think you kind of get what you're saying. All time. One of the things that irked me was the, the this is Victorian England, so yeah. science is basically magic. You have this potion that can turn something into a, a female version of itself. Yes, it is remarkable. I wonder how it would work on a male. <laughs> you can see I used a male. But I was thinking like, okay, what if you use that potion on something that is already female or perhaps something that doesn't have a gender? Like an asexual... Yeah, there's plenty oh, of yeah. organisms out there that, that I mean, are genderless. That's like everyone on my planet. What? <laughs> Your planet? Yeah, Arnak. So I wanted to talk about how this movie is a musical as well <laughs> as a prose straight drama. How, how, was this a, how was this a musical? There was music that came up and a lady singing. And every time oh, yeah. they went to some the ghetto. Oh, yeah. yeah the the every, red light district. Every the time red they, light district. Yeah. There was every, a sad lady singing. Yeah, it was it was like really kind of out of place. Mm -hmm. it, it shows like a, a bunch a bunch of busty women with a bunch of drunk men, and they're all kind of partying in this drinking red light district environment. But there's this one woman 
who's just standing there, like singing a song <laughs> all to herself, and it's kind of sad and that, morose. But it's beautiful. That that was the one actress who didn't realize which movie she was in. She thought it was like Les Mis or something. Yeah, <laughs> just wandered onto the set. And <laughs> oh, ma'am, you're going to have to leave. <laughs> no, give me a mic. <laughs> the first 20 minutes was really interesting and, mm -hmm. and got you engaged, but then it starts getting into the killings and stuff, and there should have been a lot more and a lot more gruesome killings. There was a few yeah. good scenes, like when he stabbed the one woman through the neck, and yeah. there's just blood spurting out. Yeah, pretty gory, but a lot of gory. a lot of the killings were kind of rote. Let's let's throw some red colored water onto a poster and call it a call it a night. Call it a killing. <laughs> right. I assume you've probably learned our language from watching these movies. Does watching these type of movies kind of shape your opinion of us? Yeah, it does. Uh, I mean, you guys really like each other's chests, obviously. I would say that's accurate. You know, that's pretty clear from these movies. I, lo I love it. I love watching it. Um, and, yeah, I think you guys also are obsessed with murdering each other. We don't have that on our planet. There's no murder. Uh, but I love the idea of murder. Oh, my God. I can't believe we never thought of that. <laughs> well, that's something you can bring back. Yeah. It's a like, murder, a, yeah. like a little homecoming gift. Exactly. A little slice of earth for wherever you're from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Planet Arnak. Arnak. Hey, that's a pretty bring, good name. Bring, good name, bring right? some of our culture okay. back. All right. Yeah. All right. Can do. Well, Spuds, we... Uh, we thank you for collaborating with thank us you. on this video, coming all the way from your home planet, Arnold, or wherever. Arnak, yeah, no problem. Arnak, his Glad planet. So, collaboration, great. It's really fun to work with you. We have a beer that we're going to try now. It is also a collaboration. Anchorage Brewing Company brewed with Jolly Pumpkin Artisanal Ales to bring you this. Ciao. Ciao. Smells amazing. That is, um, that is funky. But it's not like in your face, I don't know. No, it's kind of really dry. dry. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a very dry beer. It's got a pretty decent flavor, but it is it is funkier than most Saisons. Yeah, it's got kind of like that, that hay, kind of bready Yeah, flavor. like a little bit of the wet hay. Mm -hmm. This is actually brewed with a fresh grapefruit peel, peppercorns, and fresh grapefruit juice. Oh, I don't I really, that. I don't get a lot of the grapefruit juice, but I definitely get the, the peel and peppercorns. So definitely a highly suggested beer, delicious. The film, it's okay, but if you want to see something original, I would definitely check it out. And thank you, Spuds, for being on the show. It was a pleasure having you here. Yeah, definitely. We'll try and have you back. Well, all right, it's been good, guys, but I better get heading back home to Arnak, my home planet. Okay. Well, thanks for watching our View and Brew. We'll see you tomorrow. Adios. Peace. <laughs> You know you got to go out every night And kill some hookers if you're gonna be Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde And yeah, we're Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde The angry crowd is gonna make you jump off of a ledge That's the end